Hi, I'm Jen. I'm from San Francisco, California. I had pretty much always crash dieted and done things pretty much every single diet you can do. As soon as I would get off of it, I would just gain the weight back and pretty much go from being on the wagon to lighting the wagon on fire. <laughs> and then I ended up with a pretty gnarly knee injury that led to about a six month wait of not really being able to move on it until I could have surgery. And then a surgery, which then required me to be completely off my feet for about two months. I just felt awful during this time and knew I needed to actually really get some help to get me back. Food is absolutely everything. I know they say food is 80%, 70% of it. For me, I was completely unable to move through at least a few weeks in this process. And that's when I dropped the most weight and it was not from activity. I was literally laying in bed and I was fully satiated and happy with the food I was eating. I wasn't feeling neglected at all. And that was way shocking. <laughs> It changed my relationship to my body because I'm actually thankful for my body. I'm realizing that it's snapping back to itself. And that's something that I think I just really have to be thankful for, especially after gaining so much weight in a really pretty debilitating injury. I absolutely would recommend it, mainly because the diet industry is robbing every woman on this planet. The average woman spends 17 years of her life on a diet, and that is just something that I don't want to be a part of anymore because myself was certainly included in that. I think it's just a really healthy lifestyle way of eating that isn't a ripoff. It's not a diet. It's something that you would basically use for the rest of your life. It's not demonizing any foods. It's literally completely catered to you and what you want to do and what works for you. But there is a science behind it. I used to be an on the wagon or off the wagon, and now I've realized I don't need to be on or off of it. I can just be moving forward, and sometimes you're moving fast, sometimes you're moving slow, and other times you just stop to take in a little bit of the view, and that's okay, because I'm always just moving forward.